Hello YouTube, it's me, it's me, it's your favourite Steve. What a guanin. Um thought I'd do something a little bit different today. I still part of the daily vlog, but um I think I did a video a long time ago. I don't know about probably my time. Uh where I reviewed wrestling. Uh, zoom. I know that's now gonna have Got about seventy five percent to switch off. Um, but yeah, there's a big pay per view coming up. If you are into wrestling, carry on watching because I am the Dom Perion of pro wrestling. I know more about WWE than a lot of people. Well, from nineteen eighty five anyway. Um, but yeah, um, I'm just gonna review, go through the matches. Tell you what I think and who I think is going to win. And before people start going, I oh, know it's not real. I oh, know it's not a real fight. But if anybody knows about fake guys oiling themselves up in their pants, rolling around a ring with each other, <laughs> it's me. You know what I mean? I know my shit. Anyway, so the first match, by the looks of it, this is on the kickoff show. Um, for SummerSlam is this first of the best of seven Cesaro versus Sheamus um, I'm going to go with Sheamus winning on this just because they're going to have seven matches so you know it's going to go to seven I, I'll never get these best of seven series um, kind of things because unless they unless they don't do it this time it's going to get to seven matches so um, I'm going to go with Sheamus just for the fact that I can't imagine they're going to give Cesaro the advantage they're going to kind of make him catch up that's what I guess so Sheamus on the first one I'm going to guess this is on the kickoff show as well but they haven't advertised it um, it's the Smackdown girls if that's going to Sound weird if you don't watch wrestling this morning. You've got two shows, you've got Raw and you've got SmackDown and recently they've now got they they've got wrestlers that are exclusively to those shows. If you get what I'm saying. But yeah, you've got um Carmella, Becky Lynch and Naomi against Natalia, Alexa Bliss. And I think it was meant to be Eva Marie. She's been suspended for 30 days. Um, don't know why. I'm guessing maybe it's Steads. I'm guessing it's probably something she shouldn't have talked if it's come up in her system. But, um, yeah, so she's out of it because she's suspended 30 days. So I'm going to guess they're going to bring someone in from NXT, maybe, maybe bring someone up. And they're the heel team, so who would be good in the heel? Hmm. Who in NXT's heel and could come up and be part of the bad girls? Think about that and I'll get back to you. But either way, yeah, the good guys are going to win. I can be Becky Lynch and Carmella and Naomi, but there's no real storyline. It's just the girls haven't got nothing to do on SmackDown. I'd like to know what kind of title they're going to bring in. Because they need to. Maybe they'll bring back the Divas title. Probably. Probably bring back the Divas title at some point. Um, and you've got the Intercontinental title. The Miz against Apollo Crews. Um, Apollo Crews, I've got to admit, I don't know why, I just doubt like him, he reminds me a little bit of um, a Cena, a bit like a bit too nicey nicey good guy like you know old doors open for granny's kind of bloke um, I know that's the kind of character they're giving him but he just kind of you know what I mean it's kind of like the, but yeah I reckon he'll win probably I don't know 
my no, I'm gonna go with the Miz. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the Miz winning because I I, I don't think they're gonna give him his first title straight away. Or straight out of the new era. I could be completely wrong. No, I'm gonna go with Miz. Then you got um Enzo Amore and Big Cass versus Chris Jericho and Kevin Owens. Um I reckon I might drag this out. Maybe make the feud longer. So I'm gonna go with um Jericho and Owens and winning under some dirty tactics. Yeah. So I reckon they're gonna drag it out a bit. Make a longer program, maybe drag it into another pay per view. So yeah, I'm gonna go with Chris Jericho and Kevin Owens winning that one. Oh, then you got the tag team titles, the new day. This is the club or Gallows and Anderson, whatever they call themselves. Um I don't know. I'm, I might go with Gallows and Anderson. Because the new day I've had those titles for like a year now. And the tag team division's coming out of it. So, yeah, I'm going to go with Gallows and Anderson. Gallows and Anderson win. Once again, on some dirty tactics. Dirty, underhanded tactics. I've got the women's title, Sasha Banks and Charlotte. Um, hmm. I don't know. Maybe Charlotte. Screw it. I'm gonna go with Charlotte winning that one. Yeah. I'm gonna go with Charlotte winning that one with like, because Dana Brooks banned from ringside, kind of going. Um, Look, she can do it by herself. She's so awesome. Yeah, so I'm going to go with Charlotte. Rusev and Roman Reigns. Um, as much as I don't want it to, I think it's going to be Roman. He hasn't lost at SummerSlam. And I think they're trying to give some prestige back to that US title. So, yeah. I'm gonna go with Roman. Mm. I wish he wouldn't have shaved that beard off there. Well, not shaved, he hasn't completely shaved it off, but he's gone back to like just the goatee. He looked better with like a full ruffle of beard. Full look better. Sounds really okay, don't it? But, yeah. Um I'm gonna go with Roman, new US champion. Sin God, this is a big card. It's gotta be on for four hours, isn't it? Um Cena and AJ Cena. AJ's already won one. I imagine Cena's gonna win the next win this one and then they're gonna drag it over to the SmackDown exclusive pay per view, is it Backlash? Oh uh, yeah. Then they'll drag it out onto that. So I'm gonna go with Cena. Um Dean Ambrose and Dolph Ziggler. There's a lot of matches on this. Uh, for the world title, I'm not sure on this. I'm really not. I want to give it to Dolph, but then. Nah, I'm going to go with Ambrose. Just one of these nail in the road kind of matches he's going to beat. Um, yeah, I reckon he's going to beat Dolph. And then go on to having a feud with Bray. Or maybe like the next one's a triple threat. Maybe Ambrose, Ziggler, and Wyatt. Or maybe a now contest, actually. Yeah. I might go with like some kind of dodgy draw. And then they have to do it again. Hmm. Maybe a draw, like a now contest. And the worst name title in the world, the WWE Universal Championship. Why? Why are you going to have a universal champion? 
Anyway, yeah. Uh, Finn Balor and Seth Rollins. I don't see it making sense that Seth Rollins wins this. So I've got to go with Finn Balor. Mm. I don't see any sense in Seth Rollins winning it. I don't know why. I just don't see any sense. It just kind of takes it away from... Um, Oh, this is my momentum that Balor's got of his from his debut. So yeah, I'm gonna go with Wally. I'm gonna go with Balor on that. And then Lesnar and Orton. I mean, out of all the matches on this card, the least one I could give two shits about. Um, again, there's so many variables. It's not like they're fighting for anything. It's not really for anything. It's but I'm gonna have to give it Brock. Oh my no. Maybe Orton. Hmm. I don't know. I'm gonna go with Orton. Hmm. And so Brock beating the crap out of him the whole match, then Orton it's an RKO okay, and he wins. Yeah. Anyway. I know it's something different, just in case somebody else watches it, but if you've got different predictions, if you think shut up Steve, what the fuck do you know? Um, comment below. Um, but those are my predictions for now. For summer time. And then I think on Sunday next week, just to cover up a vlog instead of me walking to and from work. Um I'll tell you what I thought about the show. I'm also gonna do a review of NXT as well. I'm gonna put that. I've got a bit of all my dirt sheet. Uh, dirt sheet apps so I don't get any what's it called insider information so yeah I'm just going to go by from what I'm watching uh, I've also got UFC on Saturday which I'm looking forward to um, Conor McGregor Nate Diaz I don't know I think it's going to go one of two ways I think McGregor's either going to knock him out Yeah, I think McGregor's either going to knock him out, or Diaz is going to start him, like, knock McGregor out cold. I want it to be McGregor, but I ain't too sure. But the Wayne's tonight, that should be interesting. Um, yeah, the Wayne's tonight, Jeez, that's going to be really interesting. Uh, but yeah. Sorry if you're new by Risa and you're watching this and you're kind of going, why do you think I'll give two shits about wrestling? But maybe this, I just thought I'd give a review and what I think. Not review, pre is it preview? Predictions? Yeah. Uh, what I think is going to happen. And if anybody watches wrestling, comment below on what you think. So yeah, see you in a bit. Hello YouTube, what up? Um, yeah, if you like pro wrestling, I hope you enjoyed the SummerSlam preview. Um, I'm thinking about, I don't know, you're probably not interested, but this is some of that's going on in, in my weird brain. Um, I'm thinking about, you know, like I put episode number, yeah, 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 daily blog slash eBay reseller slash blah, blah, blah. Um, I think what I might start doing is just getting rid of that because they're all kind of mixing into one at the minute. I'm not doing anything that's specifically about reseller and then my daily vlog about the world of Steve. It's just kind of mixing the same. It's about eBay or if I'm into wrestling, it's about wrestling. UFC, it's about UFC. So I might just get rid of that. Um, or I might not, I don't know. Because I've changed my mind within two seconds because I've just thought about it now and now I've changed my mind, so I don't know, I'll think about it. Just, I don't know why I'm even talking to, to you a lot about it because you're not particularly interested. Um, yeah, going on. I'm going to chill. I think I'm going to end the vlog now because, you know, that SummerSlam preview was like 11 minutes. Uh, nothing much to report, just a crap load of watches on my eBay recently. On my eBay, on my eBay. Um, kids are still a pain in the arse. 
was still mounds. Um, but on a positive note, I've got a long weekend this weekend. Three days. Ooh. Um, yeah, I've got three days off. Well, mon yeah, Monday, Monday off. Uh, I just find it mind-boggling that my work's kind of going on hold at the minute because I'm off, but I am. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to leave you now. So, peace out. See you tomorrow.